In this video, we will explore more on the periodic table and find out what are the general features and patterns in the periodic table. The periodic table is a list of elements arranged in order of increasing proton numbers or not, we can say the atomic numbers. The periodic table divides the elements into periods and groups. Now, a group is a vertical column of elements. Now, this periodic table consists of eight groups of elements numbered from 1 to 7 and 0. Group 0 is sometimes called group 8. Now, you realize that a period is a horizontal row of elements. Now, the periodic table consists of seven periods of elements. Now, in the middle is a block of metals, which we call the transition elements. So, the horizontal rows of elements in the periodic table are called periods. The vertical columns of elements in the periodic table are called groups. The elements in the periodic table can be classified based on their metallic and non-metallic properties. Now you can draw a diagonal line in the periodic table which divides the metals from non-metals. Elements that are near this line, we can call them the metalloids. Now in this periodic table, the metalloids are colored orange. Metalloids are very special because they have the properties of both metals and non-metals. One very popular example is silicon. It is widely used in semiconductor industry, which makes chips for computers. On the left hand side of this diagonal line, we have metals, and on the right hand side, we have non metals. So, in general, elements that have small number of electrons in their outer shell are actually metals, and elements with large number of electrons in the outer shell are non metals. So from left to right across a period, there is a decrease in metallic properties and increase in non-metallic properties. Elements in group 1, we can call them the alkali metals. Elements in group 2 are called alkali earth metals. Those in group 7 are called halogens. Those in group 0 or 8 are called noble gas. The elements between group 2 and 3 are called transition elements. So what are the properties that we can conclude about the elements in a group? Now elements in the same group, they have the same number of outermost electrons. They tend to resemble one another in their chemical properties. They form ions of the same charge and form the same number of bonds and they form compounds of similar formula. Going down the group, the proton number increases and the atomic size increases. Now what about period? What can we say about the elements in the same period? Now all the elements in the same period, they have the same number of electron shells. For example, all elements from period 3 have 3 electron shells. On going across a period from left to right, the metallic character decreases while the non-metallic character increases. Now, the chemical properties of the oxides of the elements changes from basic oxide to amphoteric oxide to acidic oxide. The oxides of metals are usually basic and the oxides of non-metals are usually acidic. Some oxides of metals are actually both basic and acidic. They are called amphoteric oxides. Common examples are zinc oxide, aluminium oxide, and lacto oxides. Now, some oxides of non-metals are neutral oxides. For example, carbon monoxide, nitrogen monoxide, and water. So what is the relationship between the group number and the ion formed by an element? The elements in group 1, 2, 3 will form positive ions. These elements are metals. 
they tend to lose electrons to form positive ions. The charge of the ion is the same as the group number of the element forming it. So the charge of the ions formed are positive 1, positive 2 and positive 3 respectively. So the elements in group 6 and 7, they are non-metals and they gain electrons to form negative ions. The charge is negative 2 and negative 1 respectively. Elements in group 4 and 5, they tend to form covalent instead of ionic compounds. They share electrons to form covalent bonds. Now those elements in group 0 that we call the noble gases, they have stable electronic configuration. Hence, they do not undergo chemical reaction and they do not form compounds. In the next few videos, we will focus on the elements in specific groups. Do subscribe to the channel to get notified on the newly uploaded videos. If you find this video useful, please like the video and share the link with your friends. If you'd like to have more chemistry resources, do check out my website. The link is in the description below. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.